Ma non parlo anche me. Oh, Cosa è questo evento? You know, it's the end of the year. And you know what happens, everybody's looking at their budget, they say, oh, we have some money to spend, and so they get to all their stuff with the, you know, the people to get together, and they feed them, and they give them stuff, and, you know, that, that way they eat up their budget, so they have their budget for next year. But it's not a scheme, it's just that's what happens. I don't understand why people just don't disperse it throughout the year, but that, that's not what happens, you know. But one of the things I got, because I went to this, uh, uh, this uh, school for the uh, uh, Sevenati, uh, it's up there in Fort Beaufort, It's a school for the this is severely intellectually and physically handicapped. I mean, we're still severe. These folks are, you know, they're out of it. They're drooling. They're, you know, like that. Anyway, so I got there, but one of the people that helps them out because it's uh, one of those. Uh, it's not enough. Well, they don't get any government funds or anything like that. In fact, they didn't. Uh, that the, the, one of the big honchos in the province or something like that wanted to come, but they wanted, they couldn't make it. They wanted them to change the date to like Sunday. This was happening on Thursday. They said, no, we're not a government organization. We don't listen. <laughs> you come when we come or not. Ooh. <laughs> so anyway, I'm, I'm going to get on that. But the thing is, one of the gifts I got was, was, was look at this is one of the people that helped. Now, what's, what's that organization say there? I can't read it. I can't read upside. Oh, African Footprints of Hope Organization. African Footprints of Hope Organization. Mm -hmm. And well, the young lady that runs it, she's, uh, she's, uh, yeah, and the lady too, she's, she's dynamic, you know. Anyway, so I got a t-shirt from the, we got a wife today, a green motif today, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting because when I say severely, I mean, this is severe. I mean, they're, they must have, I mean, they, they have about 40 or so, clients, as they call them, you know, people that they, they stay there, they live, this is, they took a village, and they took several houses in the village, and sort of, you know, this one area, and there's no street light or anything like that, well, the government wants to help me put street light on, this, on the road there, but that's not the point, um, but anyway, they, they, they're all in the wheelchairs, they, be, they really got to be taken care of, so let's say if we have, a, you say if we have a 40 of, 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 the, of the folks there, and that's living there, then you're going to need a staff of at least half that, at least half that. That's a lot of people that you have to, you know, employ and all the rest of that stuff. So that's what I'm thinking, you know, what I'm thinking is that, remember these folks are, not that they are abandoned, but you know, they have severe difficulties and all the rest of that stuff. But what happens with this is that uh, every time you have one severe person, you, there's so many people that take care of them. So the, the way we have our economy is such that, you know, if, if we can prevent the severity of that person, then that means that that's one more person in the thing or two less people that have to take care of that person. So what I'm trying to say is either way, no matter what happens, society has to take care of itself. Back to my philosopher from the United States of America, you know, I'm talking about him before Donny Hathaway, everything is everything. So everything is everything, meaning if you don't address it now, it's going to come someplace else. You got to take care of folks. Either you take care of them before they're born, during they're born, or you're going to take care of them after they're born, but somehow you got to take care of them. So what I'm trying to say, one of these ranting dispatches I'm, I'm doing, is that either way society's going to pay for it. So we have to figure out a better way than to wait for a severity to come. We got to figure out a better way to address societal situations. And I'm not just talking about severely whatevers. Well, just because severity and everything. Severe, what they call it, another big thing, income wage gap or whatever it is. Rich people keep on trying to get richer and they don't even know why they're trying to get richer. Take it away, taking the wealth away from, when I say take, they're really actively taking the wealth away from poor folks. Now, why don't you just give wealth back? <laughs> that way you won't have all, you see how that goes? But somehow when you get to some sort of level, you lose your mind. You, you're no longer a footprint. You think you, you think you don't make footprints. You think you can walk on water and walk on air and, Traverse the universe, you know, without any help from anybody else. Even though you, uh, it's 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 what it is. Anyway, this has been one of those dispatches from the Arcerector Emeritus. So that would be me, T, for the Pattersons taking the trenches to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm.